What's going on, people? I want to talk on Jamal Bryan again. Um, I know when I made a video before on Jamal Bryan, there's a lot of folk that were supporters of Jamal Bryan took offense to what I had to say, and they felt that I was being judgmental towards Jamal Bryan. But the Bible says you will know them by the fruit they bear. Jamal Bryan is not a good man. And let me tell you something. I completely understand people having their own opinions regarding Roe versus Wade and abortion issues. And that's your free will to have your own opinion regarding that. But any preacher that's in favor or in support of Roe versus Wade, any preacher that supports Maxine Waters and other evil Democrats, you need to run as fast as you can and far from that church because just about everything that Jamal Bryan teaches is wrong and not of God. Now, I'm going to try to keep this video under 10 minutes. And I want you to listen to what this dude is saying. Jamal Bryan is speaking with a forked tongue. He's at a baby dedicating ceremony, but yet he's promoting abortion. He's speaking with a forked tongue. And I really don't see why or how the mother and the father of these children are allowing this beast to touch and pray over their children. The Bible tells you not to lay your hands too suddenly upon people, but yet at the same time, you have to use wisdom and discernment and not allow just anybody, just because they have the title of a preacher to lay their hands on you or your children. Listen to the forked tongue of this beast. Turn back the hands of time and declare the war on women in this nation. I wanted us to stand resolvely to uh, say to this nation uh, that if America was authentically pro-life, then they would immediately abolish the death penalty. If they were really pro-life, what I find interesting, and excuse me for stopping this, this sounds like when Satan was tempting Yeshua. And Satan was saying, if you be the son of God, do this and do that. If you be the son of God, if you be the son of God, listen to what this beast is saying to promote abortion then they would put more money into Head Start programs. If they were pro-life, they would seek to cure the opiate addiction in this nation. If they were pro-life, they would make sure that teachers feel safe in their schools. If they were pro-life, there would be stiff, stricter measures about gun control in this nation. If it was pro-life, we would not have to deal with food insecurity. But I stand with now the living matriarch of the movement, Maxine Waters, who said they have declared war on 32 million women in this nation. And one thing about a woman, when she is focused, she is not going to stop until she gets what she needs. We stand, but we realize that this is not just a woman's issue. Unless I don't understand how pregnancy works, men have to extend their voices as well. And so we speak to this nation to declare that new birth stands with the amazing women of this church, of this community, and of this country. That women have the right to have authority over their body. And it should not be legislated by men in Washington, D.C. I want all of us all over this room. Room, would you I find that interesting when people say that a man can't tell a woman what to do with their body, but yet they expect men 
in political positions to allow them to do certain things. It's men that's given you the right or that gave you the right at one point in time to murder your unborn children. So I find that to be quite interesting because if a man can't tell you anything, number one, men should not be paying child support. And if men can't tell you anything, then you should go upon your own volition and have abortions anyway, because regardless of what the justice say or the non-justice say, you make your own choice and decision because a man can't tell you anything. Do me a favor, would you celebrate the women around you who are competent enough to make decisions about their bodies, decisions about their life, and decisions about their future? I'm sorry for stopping this, and I won't stop it again. But he's probably in favor of abortion because of the number of children he made outside of his wife. Remember? The scandal that happened where he was sleeping with females in the church and got these females pregnant. Well, that would have been a good opportunity for him to abort those children. And only God above knows how many of those children he got outside of outside of his marriage that he had aborted. So that's why he's probably supporting abortion. We're praying steadfastly because what we are seeing uh, is racism rearing its head again. Uh, with this measure racism. that has just taken place, uh, babe, black baby infant mortality is going to rise by 30%. No, uh, and hence, That's we cover the guy. lives of our mothers, of our pregnant mothers, and our unborn babies. I need you to do me a favor, please. While last Sunday was Father's Day, today we stand in the gap for mothers and for emerging mothers. I need you to do me a favor, please, because I need you to be mindful that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty unto God for the pulling down of strongholds. There is something satanic afoot in Washington, D.C. So today, proudly, we dedicate, uh, we dedicate babies in our church. They're coming at this time. Uh, because uh, we believe that children are the future. But, uh, but we also them. believe that mothers have the right to elect where it is that they are in the season and the stages of their life. And they should not be criminalized for making decisions that, that will best suit them for where it is that they are. As we're living in a world that, that is declaring war on women, we declare that God is going to make you fit for the battle that there'll be no obstacle you will not be able to overcome. I anoint your hands, even in this moment, that God will give you the strength to take hold of whatever it is that you go after. I anoint your feet by the power of the Holy Spirit that you will have dominion in the earth just as you do in heaven. And all the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Sisters, make some noise even now. Listen, you need to run as fast as you can from any preacher, from any church that support abortion, that support Roe versus Wade, that support Maxine Waters, that support Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. You need to run far away from any preacher that is a Democrat. So feedback and tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.